Jennifer's going to use these colonies for her study. Um, I want to explain to you what you're getting. We just went through these, took them off the pallets, and put them on the bottom boards on Monday. We looked at every colony to make sure there were eggs. We did not see a queen. If there were eggs, we were happy and we moved on. These are two-year-old queens. Um, I've left them here this long because this is our queen mating yard and these genetics are something that's desirable for me so that's why these queens are still older queens so you're going to see some colonies that are very good and you're going to see some that aren't that great because the queens are getting old yeah but uh, that's okay for your study right this is what this is a picture of normality here okay what we want what a normal bee yard would have you're going to have really strong colonies you'll have weak colonies um, now this is the yard that we couldn't find a mite in and Seth and I did two mite washes on this end What was the pallet on the end and we found a 12 and an 11 which shocked us So we have mites now you got mites now. Yeah, okay now we so, might have just accidentally got the two most mite ridden colonies I don't right. know. I'm we're really excited to be a part of this. I yeah. like doing this with her oh, We've definitely. done so many over the years and yes, so, so I, I had a lot of comments from people that uh, are out of the country and a couple were from Chile and Argentina and places I say Chile Argentina I'm trying to remember a couple from out of the country that are using this product and they like it and uh, one of them I asked how much does it cost and they commented back about a dollar a strip um, I don't know if that's what's going to happen in this country things have a way of getting jacked up once they get here but it hopefully won't be too expensive it's, you know, it's four strips per colony. Four strips, is that, four dollars yeah, a colony if it was there. Well, yeah. What are we doing with April bars around five dollars a colony? It, right? It's more than that. If you take a double deep like this, we were putting four strips in. I get a discount because I'm a Man Lake dealer. I think I was getting them down around 250 260 a strip. So yeah, that's 10 bucks. 10 bucks a colony. Yeah. So gosh, if we could do this even for five or six, that'd be awesome. So four strips in a double deep or? Yeah. I believe so, yeah. Okay, just cool. Just four strips per colony. And just one application? Uh, yeah, for 42 days. Okay. The particular material is being used right now, is, is approved in Argentina and South America. And we're testing along with Auburn University and USDA, testing the efficacy of its product of this product against mites but also to see whether or not it's going to kill colonies and yeah. kill bees but it's proven in argentina it's working they did not have issues so i don't think we're going to see any issues here mm -hmm. and so our data will be used hopefully to um, promote the product if it works and then also to get approval for use here in the united states it really is heavy it, it is. is yeah it is but that's what it's going to do to mites. It's going to go, whoa! What, what are these chairs doing here? Are you going to be We're sitting sit. down? Yes. <laughs> that's what we do. I'm going to actually sit in the car with the air on. Well, I don't okay. need the air on. All right. No, because you're standing. We're just taking notes. I know. I'm just kidding. Oh. I'm just joking with you. I know. Uh, when we collect queens, I sit down. Okay. I don't bend over no, a No, I can't do that all day long. Yeah. It kills yeah. me. A Walmart yard, but don't no, call it that. No. <laughs> okay. All right, I am rolling. So they got Seth in here pulling frames for them. They're measuring bees. They're measuring brood. Good. Good. Okay. So this is interesting. Jennifer's being interviewed by a TV station in Atlanta. I'm not sure which one yet. I heard this guy was coming. The guys are still counting bees over there. Let's see if I can learn more about this TV guy, see what channel he's from. He's asking a lot of questions about mites and treatments and beekeepers and I just found out that TV guys, uh, PBS, this will air on PBS at some point. Jennifer is explaining some of the intricacies here. They, they use this uh, screened cage to keep robbing from getting out of hand. There's a complete dearth here. And they have these colonies open for a good while, counting every frame of bees, every every frame with brood on it, and so on. And if they didn't cover themselves up with this cage, robbing would just get really out of hand. 
So that's what that's about. Anyway, she's showing the PBS guy how they do alcohol washes and count bees and all of that stuff. My population reached the economic threshold. This is a really important number because this tells me as the beekeeper I need to treat. My numbers are going to keep growing and getting higher and the percent infestation rate is going to continue to get higher and this colony is going to slowly die. Uh, and the virus titers will explode and this colony, you see all these bees now, if we don't do anything in a couple of months, there may only be a couple of frames left of bees and another month after that, the colony will be completely dead. Does that make sense? Yes, yes. Does that make sense Thank to you? you? That explained it. Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. And you're sitting there going, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank Can you. I get you to smoke it again? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get it real close. Yeah, right there. There we go. We use the Perfect. smoke to kind of calm the bees. What it does, it diffuses the alarm pheromone. Oh, wait, one second, sorry. All right, go for it. So we use the smoke to calm the bees. It diffuses the alarm pheromone. So what we've done is we've taken, we basically took the roof off their home and then broke into their home. And so the worker bees have a gland that produces alarm pheromone, and so they it, they basically release that pheromone, telling all the other bees in this box something is wrong. There's invaders, <laughs> big human invaders that have come into our house, have broken into our home, and that alarm pheromone. If we don't use smoke, it keeps increasing, increasing, and then the bees get more and more agitated, and we get more stings. And so we use smoke. We never work colonies without smoking them first because it calms them. Again, diffusing that alarm pheromone and keeps us more protected. And it also helps. Um, I, 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 I disagree when people don't use smoke because it's, it's better for the bees to be calmer as well. If they were all running around crazy, um, it's just not as healthy for them. What kind of honey are they making here? Do we know? Wildflower? It's wildflower honey, right, Bob? Yeah, so it's going to be a wildflower. Now, unfortunately, this area usually gets really good uh, sourwood honey. A lot of, produces a lot of good sourwood honey. But for whatever reason this year, very little sourwood was produced in the North Georgia mountains. And it could have been because we had a lot of rain. It's, sourwood honey is, I think, one of the best honeys in the world. It has such a wonderful flavor, but it's very unpredictable year to year. And you're going to learn more about that when you go see Bob at Blue Ridge Honey Company. I got it! Awesome! <laughs> yes, there's your toss. There's the plug. Hey, Bob! Yeah, I've been taking pictures of you taking pictures. Hope that's okay. There you go. <laughs> His first, what was it, your first week, he started working at the lab. Um, he got stung. It was. We threw him into the pit of fire. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was, what is that saying going from? Oh. Uh, Ian went from zero to 100. Yeah, zero yeah. to 100, like never been really, well, he did a little bit of beekeeping. Just in, in high school. Like high a, school, right. A little bit, but not really anything like this. But nothing, and then to full on, colonies were stinging, we were doing colony assessments. And you would get stung on your back and just getting stung right here. Yeah, do you oh, really want to be a beekeeper? <laughs> yeah. And he's, yeah. he's on you out. Yeah. This is always a test. We always know. Um, and, and actually, you know, we bring in students. And if they come back the next day, <laughs> they're good. They come back. Hey, Matt, how are you? I, I'm good, Jennifer. I got a question for you. Technical. Uh, second. Okay. You you don't have those numbers yet, do you? He the, they start on the alcohol washes yesterday, and they will finish them probably Monday or Tuesday at the latest. Well, as soon as you know, would you call me? I will. And also, Keith, um, I asked Keith to turn in that application, and I guess we got awarded the money. Unanimous. You guys are awesome. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. Well, you got several people that were you know, on your side there, and uh, nobody argued. It was Gina and me and Katie were like, you know, heck yeah. And everybody else just said, yeah, why not? Awesome. Well, we, you've made, you've 
you basically y'all save the lab and I'm going to write a letter to that effect because it's uh, um, we will be able to keep going and we've got Jack now secured through June Oh, did, now you did see the numbers on the initial alcohol washes, correct? I got Check. the sheet and I haven't even, I'm embarrassed to say I haven't even looked at it yet because I've been so extremely busy. Oh, okay. But uh, well, tonight I'm going to take a look at that, yeah. They're high. So yeah. you did get bombed. You had to. I had to get bombed, if, yeah. If you were, I mean, if you were at zero two months ago, there's no way you were up at 35 mites. So some of them actually had 35 in them? I think one was 35, 36, yeah. But generally 15 to 20? Yeah. <clears throat> well, that's still extreme for just two months. I don't know how that could have happened without them tearing up somebody else's bee yard or something. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks. Talk to you soon. All right, Bob. Bye. Okay, so that's about Jack. Went to our bee yard up at Clayton yesterday and did an alcohol wash or he collected alcohol wash samples on all the colonies that are in the study and we're going to get the numbers on that pretty soon. Something very weird happened at that bee yard and we don't have an explanation. We have a theory. Um, the, that yard was giving us a bunch of zeros in alcohol washes in late May and now here in early August, well it was, yeah, early August we were getting what you might have just heard on here. We were getting 15, 20s, and even one had a 35. And our theory is that uh, our yard tore up somebody else's bee yard that was crashing. The only thing I can possibly think with numbers like that in just two months is that we, our bees tied into some mite bomb somewhere. I know of at least two bee yards in the vicinity that are within striking distance for our bees. I hate, I hesitate to point fingers, but boy, something happened there. They, they tore into something that had mites in it because I, I just don't think there's any way they could have gone from zero to 20 in just two months, but I could be wrong. <laughs> you know, I don't know, I'm not, who knows, I don't know. Even Jennifer agrees that that's just too fast of a climb and mite number. Something occurred there and we just don't know what. And Jennifer was going to, uh, she offered me to pull those colonies out of the study and get them treated with something aggressive right away so we didn't lose colonies. And I declined. I told her, just leave them in. If this stuff works, this is going to be a really good test. If anything's going to test them, it's going to be those kind of high mite numbers. And I'm willing to take a chance on losing some colonies in order for her to really uh, test this stuff. So we'll see what's going to happen. According to her, Next week we're going to have the numbers of the two-week um, mite count, two weeks into the study. Very anxious to see. I think that right there is going to tell us, you know, even before we have the final numbers, that's going to tell us if the mites are going down.